So for lunch on Monday morning, I'm packing the pierogies that were left over. And I warmed up the container, I warmed up the pierogies, so hopefully they'll be good to go. She's also having some graham crackers, some baby carrots, a little bit of cheese, and for snacks she's having orange slices. And breakfast today is oatmeal, of course. We do it all the time. Hey guys, it's Monday morning. It is a dreary, drizzly Monday morning. The whole drive home from Evie's school, well like half of the ride, was just fog. I could hardly even see the car in front of me. It was crazy. But we are back home and I need to work on a video that I'm doing. So I'm going to do that now while Lara watches a little Daniel Tiger. Um, hopefully I can get it done pretty quick and then move on with the rest of our day. We don't really have any other plans. So I'm hoping to get a lot of dedicated editing time in now. And if I need to finish it during her nap, then I'll just do that later. I actually haven't even made my coffee yet today because I just noticed some mornings when I'm really tired, like I don't even drink my coffee on the way to school. It's just by the time I get back home, I drink it. So this morning I was tired. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna make it now and take it with me onto the computer and work and drink. And I think that'll be much more enjoyable than, I don't really prefer to drink out of like a tumbler. I have like a, you know, a travel mug. I much prefer drinking out of a regular mug. So I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, Lara and I are about to eat lunch. I made just grilled cheese and then I put some avocado on mine and we're having oranges. It is just before 12. Oh, just turned 12. So hopefully we'll get down or get Lara down soon. Okay, Lara is down, so I'm just gonna run the dishwasher. I just put the detergent in, about to press the button, and I'm defrosting some stew meat. I'm gonna make beef stew again today, because Dan really, really liked it, and it was honestly pretty easy. So this was frozen, I just took it out of the freezer, but it should be ready to go um, when I come back from picking up Evie. So that is gonna be dinner, and I'm gonna keep working on the computer. <sighs> Where does the time go, my friends? Where does it go? I've literally been sitting on this computer all day, all day. Um, but I did finish that video. It's a video that's outside of Vlogtober, but gonna be part of my daily uploads. So Lara's still napping, but I need to wake her up because we need to leave in a few minutes to go get Evie. And my husband's been texting me. My car air conditioning um, has been kind of funny. It's like, hasn't been very cold. Not that I've really needed it because it's been kind of chilly here, but when it's, you know, foggy and humid outside, I need the AC to cut the humidity when you defrost the windows, you know? So anyways, he's been telling me to bring it in so we can get it worked on, but it's hard to be without my car. So he said, well, how about today bring it in? And then I would meet up with him. So I'm just wondering what that means because then I don't know if we'll be back home in time for dinner. I don't really want to go out to dinner again. I feel like we've had a lot of food out lately and I plan to make this dinner here. So now I don't know, quite know what to do. And I could bring something simple with us to eat because the girls are just not gonna make it all the way back home before, you know, it's dinner time because Evie's hungry earlier. So I don't quite know what I'm doing, but there's literally been nothing to vlog today because I've just been sitting on the computer editing and taking photos and stuff that you'll see very soon or we will have already seen it. Um, but like I said, I gotta get Lara up soon. Okay, my meat is totally defrosted so I'm just patting it dry because it was wet. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge because I do want to get this car work done. I don't want to put it off and I don't really want to spend money going out to eat again. So I'm just gonna make some peanut butter and jellies for the girls. I'll make one for Dan too. They can have this, if it, they want it to be their dinner, that's fine because we'll probably be out around five or six and I just, you know, they're gonna be hungry and I don't want to really buy food if we have food at home. So hopefully this will tide them over. I'll pack some fruit and some other things. And if we get home and they still are hungry, we can do something when we get home. But this is what I'm gonna do now because I do have to head out pretty soon. All right, I'm gonna 
gonna put my new packet bag, freezer bag, to good use today. Do you wanna see the most random assortment of dinner items? Yeah, this is what we're gonna do today. Peanut butter and jellies. Uh, cut up celery and peppers. Some of these elevation bars that are the chocolate peppermint stick. Oh, cut up pears, I haven't put in a bag yet. And a bag of oyster crackers. <laughs> I wanted to pack things that didn't need to be heated because everything I have needs to be reheated and it's just not gonna happen tonight. So we're just gonna go with it and we'll have a nice beef stew tomorrow night. All right, we got Evie, we got Lara, we have snacks. We're about to go on a little mini road trip to the car place. Um, we've been listening to Nancy Drew audiobooks, which I never read the stories and I've never heard them. They are so good. If you have a kid that is, I mean, Evie's five and a half. She, you really like them, Evie? Yeah, they're super interesting because they're mysteries and I enjoy them too. So I highly recommend them. Right now we're listening to the mystery at Lilac Inn, which I think is number four. So we've already listened to quite a few audiobooks of those, you know, Nancy Drew stories. And there's a bunch of them, so I'm excited. And then after we finish those, we might even go and listen to the Hardy Boys, which is, you know, very similar. So that's what we're gonna put on and go for a little drive. So we had a little time to kill, so we stopped at Starbucks. The girls got hot chocolates and I got something for Dan. And then I got a caramel macchiato, which I haven't had in forever. Usually when I go to Starbucks, I'm just getting like plain iced coffee with no flavor. So I just got a tall. Oh, that's Evie's. I just got a tall and it's delicious. All right, it is now six o'clock. We got the car fixed, the uh, AC is fixed, and there was something else. So now we're heading back home, but we're probably about 45 minutes from the house. So by the time we get home, it's pretty much gonna be get the girls ready for bed time. So today's vlog was kind of a fail. I mean, I just was busy doing computer stuff and I honestly did nothing else. So I'm just gonna call it what it is and I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Bye.